so at like this point I feel like everybody and their mother has like watched the Amber Heard video interview that she did with Savannah Guthrie. Um, I have not yet. I'm currently on my way home. I had to work today in the office, very busy, blah, blah, blah. So I haven't had a chance to watch it because I know that I need to be in the right mind frame. I need to be in the right environment because I'm gonna be quite honest. This woman frustrates yet fascinates me at the same fucking time. I have never seen anything like this, personally. I have never seen anything like this. A person so bold and brazen to just lie and have no care that it can be disproven, proven, etc. It is the strangest thing to me. And I did see some comments saying that we've seen this before with like Trump and everything and the media and stuff like that. Um, and, and it is similar. Trump is you know, very much so that type of person, but I feel like with Trump, like, you know, you get what you get, like, you know, he knows how he is, and he's, he's unapologetic about that, like, he is who he is, and that's what it is, I'm not saying I agree with this, that, that man, I do not, I do not like that man at all, but you know what you're getting with this guy, he is who he is, unapolog unapologetically, However, with, like, Amber, she's trying to put out, like, this persona that she's, like, this victim, sweet, innocent girl, I never did anything wrong, I don't understand why everybody is coming at me, oh my goodness, yet on the other hand, she, behind closed doors, she's, like, this lying, narcissistic monster of a woman, you know, and so it's a little different in that way for me, so I felt like I completely avoided watching this interview um prior like at work and stuff I didn't watch it I, I really just wanted to kind of see it at home and I honestly feel like we're watching like a case study like a public case study like Amber Heard is giving so much knowledge to the world of like mental health and mental illness she's giving a public fucking case study for borderline narcissistic personalities so like now people can see one in the public who is just going up like getting on interviews and just it's just it's insane it is insane and the words and phrases and hot words and stuff that they use so that now people in their own lives and situations can kind of identify the narcissist in their lives and how they work and how they do things and how they do all the spinning and manipulation and word salad and all that. We literally have a case study of Amber Heard. She is, she's insane. She is utterly insane. And I can't wait to watch the, um, God damn. I can't wait to watch the interview. Um, I hear Savannah Gunthrie did kind of come through and was like, you know, not taking it too, too easy on her. So I'm interested to see that. But yeah, I mean, thank you, girl, for giving us knowledge. Now I know what to watch out for. The keywords and, you know, the body language, all that. I know what to watch out for now. Because this is just... I've, I've never seen anything like this woman. She's like an anomaly. I don't know. And I know a lot of people say, like I've seen on Twitter, like, oh, we shouldn't give her the attention. We shouldn't give her the time of day. We shouldn't, like, give her the reaction. Like, that's exactly what she wants. Like, I know that. I, I absolutely agree with it. She wants the attention. She wants people to get riled up. She wants people to feel a type of way. I completely get that. And I agree. But at the same time, this shit is wild. And it's not okay to allow somebody to just spew lies to the public, gaslight the public in the world, come after the legal system, the juries, and everything like that, and then it's okay and no one says anything. That's not all right. So I think that's where a lot of people are coming from in response to, like, Amber. Because, A, it is very 
sensationalized at this point. She's a very polarizing woman. Like, I mean, you can't help but watch, you know, because <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's, it's like crazy what's happening here. Like, we all thought this shit was going to be over. Um, but it's still going. And it's so crazy how she wants to sit there and say, oh, in her statement, Johnny and his team blanketed the media with interviews and stuff. But, like, you're having this interview today. Apparently it's tomorrow. And then on Friday, that is blanketing the media. That's three days out of seven that we're going to have to see you on our TVs, phones, or whatever. You know? Like, it's the, hypo the hypocrisy is astounding. And she has no shame. She has absolutely no shame. So it is now time to watch the foolishness and the craziness unfold before my eyes. And I'm like, not ready. I'm like way too excited because I'm just really trying to understand why the fuck she's done this in the first place. Like, what is the point? And the clip that I saw, she said she didn't care what the public thought but you're here talking to the public, trying to vindicate yourself. Make it make sense, honey. So we're about to start this thing. Like I, let me play it. I, like I've been waiting all day for this shit. I need to know what this lunatic, ludicrous woman has to say. This half hour, though, Savannah, with your exclusive interview with Amber Heard. Yeah, that's right. This is Amber Heard's first interview yeah. since that high profile trial and it's stunning verdict. And also, thank you to Colonel Kurtz for putting this up on her channel so that the views were not given to her because she just does not deserve it. So putting it on different platforms to watch from other people, I think, is excellent because she doesn't deserve that attention. She doesn't deserve those views on primetime networks and all that shit. That, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll watch it right here. Thank you, Colonel Kurtz. Let me press play verdict largely in favor of her ex-husband Johnny Depp. We spoke about what happened in that courtroom and how she feels hey, about all of hey, it Hey Johnny. Now. Ooh, he looked good it's that been day. About more than a week since the verdict. Oh my god. As you sit here with me now. So I've seen the comments <laughs> saying like she has like the R. Kelly set up when he did that interview with Gail and I'm like damn bitch people are comparing you to R. Kelly I saw a tweet where it was her Bill Cosby Prince Andrew and somebody else there was a fourth person but the fact that Amber Heard is being grouped in with these people that's your legacy bitch <laughs> that's what people think about you they're grouping you in with Prince Andrew and Bill Cosby you're in the same tweet as those people and you continue to talk. And I feel like she has a little bit of stress eye going on here. You know, like when you're stressed out, like I've had it before. I've had it before where like I'm stressed out and like it's like tight in here and then like my one eye is smaller than the other because I'm fucking stressed out. I think Amber, because this side of her face, like right here, just looks kind of off. I have not seen that before and then the, obviously the cheek implants people say that she has she really defines them with this blush and contouring has it sunk in? to like hollow it out like so it makes it really defined and I'm just like girl do you just want people to think you have bruises on your face because they didn't believe your fake shit so like now you're just gonna have one on every fucking day like the contouring is horrible same as in court but um when I look at her, like, as I'm pausing and I look at her and I'm looking in her eyes, I see nothing behind her eyes. There's no remorse. There's no warmth. There's, there's just nothing. It's almost like she's just, she's not there. There's, like, no human, you know, like, light behind her eyes. You know what I mean? It's just, it's nothing. There's nothing there. Let me go back, because what was the question? A courtroom and how she feels about all of it now. It's been about more than a week since the verdict. As you sit here with me now, has it sunk in? Has it sunk in? <sighs> oh, Lord, the dramatic how could start. It? How, could, how could it? How could it? 
Amber, answer the question. Has it sunk in or has it not? And the fact that it has not sunk in shows you're in severe, severe denial, honey. Severe. And she always does this eyebrow thing with her face and like scrunching up her face. And she did that on the stand a lot when she was in court. And I guess she's trying to invoke some type of thoughtful emotion like she's thinking or she... I don't know what it is, but it just came, comes off as very forced and inauthentic. Surreal. Surreal. And I'm difficult. sure it is surreal. In part, yes. Um, this has been a long time coming. Do you <laughs> I'm glad that you know that. It's been a long time coming because you've been sitting up there telling lies to the public, spewing out shit left and white. Just utter and complete lies, making speeches, bopping around to different types of um, uh, festivals and whatnot, and trying to act like you're an activist and stuff. Like, no. Being a L'Oreal ambassador, enjoying all of that. It's been a long six years coming, honey. You're right about that. And now we've come to the point where you're found guilty, and here you are. <laughs> doing an interview in which you say you don't care about the public's opinion but yet you're doing an interview for the public to do what amber to do what because you can't have the last word like dr curry said keep showing us your mental illness please keep showing this to us so that people can learn what a narcissistic personality does so people know that they need to watch out for people like you, Amber. Keep fucking talking because you're just making Johnny look that much better because it's like, damn, you dealt with this bitch for this long? She sat up in court and said, leave me alone. I just want to move on. But yet you're doing an interview today. There's one to come out tomorrow and Friday. How does that make sense? And then you send out a statement saying that Johnny's blanketing the media? It's delusion. It's hypocrisy. They don't give a fuck either. That's what's even more crazy. They just, they know what they say does not make sense. They don't care. You stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp Look at about abuse. Of course, to my dying day, to I'll my stand by every word of my testimony. Didn't I tell then I tell you, Amber's gonna take this to her fucking grave. She said to her dying day, she will take this to her grave because she cannot admit that she fucking lied if she were to admit that she lied she would be admitting to the fact that she brought all these people in that they sat there then planned and conspired she painted on bruises she took false pictures she took pictures of johnny sleeping she secretly recorded shit. she would have to admit that she premeditated and planned all that shit and that would make her be legitimately insane that is an unwell person and she does not want to admit to that she did not even want to acknowledge do you guys remember when dr curry was talking uh, about her borderline and everything like that and the um the traits and whatnot she was rolling her eyes she was doing all this she was all types of uncomfortable because dr curry was reading her for filth she read her all the way up and down and dr curry is being referenced to this day every time amber comes out and says some shit because it was it was just so fucking perfect she read this bitch up and down in medical verse you know, like, insane. Never admit it, she's taking it to her grave. She will take this to her fucking grave. And she w she's going to keep talking about it because she can't admit it. She can't move on. Because if she would be were to move on, she'd be admitting that she was wrong. So she can't. We're never going to see the end of Amber. The real life that was kind of scary, that little... <laughs> when I paused it. Heard ...and her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, Johnny. captivated millions of people around the world. Amber Heard just got exposed. Busted. <laughs> this is so cringe. It is so cringe. With clips spreading across social media yep. like wildfire. Because they saw her lying. The vast majority of this trial was played out on social media. I Girl, bye. Vast majority of the trial was played out for the public to hear. 
because Johnny fought for it because he knew your crazy fucking ass was gonna come out and twist it he knew the media wasn't gonna fucking do right so he fought tooth and nail to get those goddamn cameras out there and it was played out for the world to see that you fucking lied and because we have social media and we're the public what does the public do? They go to social media to talk about the social things that are happening in the world. That's the fucking point. You were a liar. Therefore, you were called a liar. Everybody with common fucking sense and a sane mind saw by probably day two, you were a nut. You were crazy. There was an alternate crying, a jury alternate crying in the hallway because she could not fucking be on that jury to take your ass down because she knew how big of a liar Amber was. I don't think that she was crying for any other fucking reason. I don't think she was crying because, oh, she didn't get to, um, you know, say that Amber was abused. No, I think she was crying because she really wanted to stand up for Johnny and make sure that he had his correct verdict, which ultimately that happened. But Amber, come on, man. Come on. And Savannah Gunthrie, she looks like, I'm liking this look like I'm not feeling you. Like, it's crazy because she did throw Elaine a bone, but the face that Savannah Gunthrie right now has on, like, bitch, I see right through all this shit. I think that you're a goddamn fucking liar. They paid me to do this shit to be here. I'm here so I won't be fined. Um, I don't believe any of this bullshit. She's looking at her real skeptical. Look at her. Savannah. Hmm. At this trial is an example of that gone haywire gone amok that's a and the fucking lie not to that. it went it went amok when you fucking went out and goddamn put yourself out for the tro and had fucking bruises on your face you painted on it went amok then and johnny was trashed he was his son was going to school and people were saying shit about him his dad being a wife beater you know, like his kids were enduring that shit. He lost his jobs while you were sit sitting there being vindicated, lifted up, had the whole Me Too environment, environment, Me, <laughs> me Too environment, Me Too movement behind you, doing speeches, had L'Oreal behind you. You got, you were doing your Aquaman shit, you know? And it's crazy that you didn't do more with the little bit of, um, push that you got from this. this is, like, that's how untalented she is. If she was really talented, she would have done like two or three fucking movies. She would have done a whole lot more of that shit because she's not talented. She could only go before, so far. But so far. She's so whack. And she doesn't look well, y'all. Like, she does not look well. She sacrificed her youth and she sacrificed her beauty to sit up and lie and now she will have nothing not even her looks that's a shame because like what else are you gonna do amber you can't fucking act you don't have your looks anymore what's up you think the jury saw it how could they not i think even how the could they not what? they didn't what do you mean how could they not and here she goes doing that face again she did in court. How could they not? They didn't. Because you didn't have evidence. You sat up there and lied. And it was apparent. Well-intentioned juror. What? Hold on, it let me go back. Is she trying to say the jury wasn't well-intentioned? of that gone haywire, gone amok. And the jury is not immune to that. You think the jury saw it? How could they not? I think even the most well-intentioned juror. Please, it would Amber. Have been impossible to Please. avoid this. Jury was not swayed because of what was going on on social media. The jury was swayed to believe Johnny because he had better evidence. He had the truth. He had the facts. You had pictures that were clearly doctored. You had no medical records of any of the fucking abuse that you claimed from Johnny. None of your nurses, none of your fucking doctors reported anything because you didn't say shit to them. You never needed fucking medical attention. You have people saying one thing, the exact opposite from what you're saying. 
So somebody is lying, and so many more people on Johnny's team and um, his witnesses, everything that they're saying are matching up, and what you're saying is not. They're not. But I think that the whole situation is why she's coming at the jury. And she slipped up in her, you know, when we saw her clip calling people randos, like Morgan, um, both the Morgans and stuff. And it's just like, they're not randos, but she feels like they're randos because Amber's so entitled and she thinks she's so up here that these people are beneath her. Like, they're randos. Like, how dare that they talk about what's going on in my life? Like, who are they? And I don't think that she liked that the case was done in Virginia because she probably feels like people in Virginia are like, oh, Virginia? What's Virginia? Like, who is that? She probably would have rather it been in LA or something like that and then maybe she would have been happy. But either way, if she would have lost, we'd be going through this shit because she just, she's a sore loser. She's a narcissist. She cannot get over this. She can't. She cannot. Oh, good. I know I keep saying it's not good to talk about people's look, but, like, she just does not look well. People online and crowds outside the courthouse Still, made it clear yep, where they justice stood. for Johnny. Every single day I passed for three, four, sometimes six blocks, yep. city blocks lined with people yep. holding signs Absolutely. saying burn the witch. Burn the witch. Death to Amber. Please, I ain't seen not one to Amber. I didn't even see a sign saying burn the witch, but it's like, bitch, you did this to yourself. Stop complaining. And I want Savannah to ask that. Like, you literally did this to yourself. So what? Stop complaining. Johnny went through this for six years and she's completely negating that this same exact shit happened to Johnny. But now that we know that he's telling the truth, now that the world knows that he's telling the truth, we already fucking knew that shit, but now that the world knows that he's telling the truth, you're now getting it. It's equal. It's not lopsided. It's not like you're getting so much fucking more. No. You're now getting what Johnny got because you now are the person with whom it should be directed at. You are the person who is the abuser. Like, what the fuck? When Johnny was said as the abuser, he was getting the heat. Now we know you're proving the abuser through evidence and audio and everything else. So you're getting the heat. It's simple. It's really that fucking simple. That's it. And I don't understand why it's so hard for her to get that through her fucking brain. It's denial. It's denial. Savannah is like, girl, I, when is this over? <laughs> It's like, oh my god, girl, I'm talking to a bona fide liar. She's sitting here lying to my face. I would feel insulted as like an interview person. Like, you sat there, you've been lying all these years, you sat there in court, you've been lying your fucking ass off, and now you're sitting here in front of my face lying to me. Like, I would just not like not be about this interview at all. Why am I gonna go do an interview with somebody who's just about to lie to my face? It's insulting. It is insulting as hell. And a half weeks, I took the stand and saw just a courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans. What? Who were the thing. Why does she keep referring to Johnny as this character? It's like she does not see him as a real person. She sees him as like this movie star. She sees him as like this larger than life type person. And it's like you lived with the man. You were married to the man. What are you talking about, Captain Jack Sparrow? What? Like, literally, that's at all she saw him was his, like, movie title star status because that's all the fuck she gave a fuck about because she wanted that for herself so badly. And it's like, I don't understand why she keeps referencing, like, Captain Jack Sparrow, the Edward Scissorhands, and all that shit. It's just like, what does that have to do with anything? He is a man first front, like to begin with like before an actor and everything he's a man he's a person he's a father he's a friend you know all those things like why does she try to like belittle him and like make it seem like he's just this character and i think it's because that's who she is she herself is a character like she doesn't have a real human you know bone about her she takes different pieces of things and different pieces of different movies or characters or personalities of people that she's met or roles she's been in and tries to make it her own. She doesn't know who she is, but Johnny is very confident in who he is. 
he knows that he is an actor. He goes, he does a job, he's done, and he moves on with his life. He does the next one. These are jobs to him. That's it. Full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans who were vocal, energized. Girl. Can you put into words please, how that felt? Like, that has to do with it. It's the fact that people have gone through experiences in their lives that are similar to this. It's the fact that people are actual domestic violence victims and are sick and tired of this woman trying to infiltrate and act like she belongs. This is not something that you want to happen to you. And to have someone to fake and put fake bruises on themselves and then go out for the public and try to ask for sympathy and then ruin another man's life? That's the issue. That is why you're getting the heat. That is why you're getting the hate, the bullying that you claim. No, people are offended by your behavior. Your behavior has been piss poor and it's disturbing. So people are going to talk about it. Why is nobody in Amber's life telling her how it actually is? Is everybody that scared of her that they can't tell her, like, Amber, look, you didn't do good. Your story sounds like shit. This doesn't sound right. Like, is there nobody? Are you telling me that she's literally surrounded herself with people that are exactly like her and that are believing this bullshit? Like, I have to think that they're scared of her or they, you know, have something on her. Or, like, what about Tasia or... The guy who was in like the telenovelas, like, come out and tell us what the fuck went down, you know? And like, all these stories can be corroborated and stuff, and we can have an even bigger picture than what we already have. But I don't understand these people who are working from her, like the assistants and Eve and the PR guy, and I'm like, are y'all really willing to ruin your lives and go down with the sinking ship over Amber? What can she do for you? Or has she really charmed the pants off of y'all so much and manipulated and brainwashed you guys to the point where you think that she's an actual good person and you can't see anything else? Like, that's like a cult-like mentality, I feel like. The leader can do no wrong. The leader is always right, regardless of what everybody else is fucking saying around you. But when you're in this little pocket, you feel safe. Like, it's weird. It's fucking weird. It's like, it's, it's, it's disturbing as hell. Like, if you really think about it deeply, it's like, these people, it's not just Amber. Like, Raquel, Ayo, you know, the makeup artists and Melanie and Glit. Like, these people really sat out here and fucking lied for her lied Whitney like I understand Whitney a little bit more than the others because I'm like you know that's blood and your sister and you know years of shit but like what are y'all's excuse other than being freeloaders it's like money that big of a thing that you're going to like completely fuck over your entire like moral compass and humanity to just ruin somebody it doesn't make sense to me. Like, did they not think, they really thought that they were going to ruin this man and that he was just gonna, like, never come back from it. Ever. This great, great man, Johnny the Depp, they really thought that they were just gonna dog him the fuck out and he was gonna lay down and just go with it. <laughs> Bitch, no. And that's why you're up here on this fucking screen looking dumb as fuck looking real dumb look at this she looks stupid this was the most humiliating and horrible thing it was I've humiliating ever been and it should be i have never it should be because you fucking lied for goddamn years you should be humiliated i'm glad to hear her say she has some fucking human bone in her that you should be humiliated because i was wondering because she was sitting in court like i was thinking like the stuff like hearing her like on the audios and stuff being played like she wasn't blushing she wasn't like even me being black as hell like i feel like my face would be turning red or something but she had nothing 
nothing. I'm like, how was she able to do that? But yet you're saying you're humiliated. But I'm like, here you are still putting yourself in the public to be further humiliated because you know nobody is going to believe this shit. Like, <laughs> she wants it. She wants the attention no matter how, if it's negative or if it's positive, she wants the fucking attention. And that's what Dr. Curry said. She doesn't care. I've never felt more removed from my own humanity. Come get her. I, I, Police for Amber. I felt Come get this bitch because she's lying on my screen right now. Thank you. Round her up. Round her the fuck up. She's right here. Thank you. God damn it. Get her crazy ass. Let's go back to the Let me go back. more removed from my own humanity. You're not human. I... I you I have not less. acted in a human. You gave no compassion to this man. You decided that you wanted to go out scorched fucking earth and ruin his goddamn life. You gave no compassion to this man at all. So why the fuck now do you think that you should be lent any? Any at all. He tried and tried. He told you exactly what was going to happen to you. Exactly. Like, I heard it in audio. He told you exactly what's happening right now. He told you years ago, this is what the fuck was going to go down. And you did not believe it. Because you got so high and fucking mighty, and you had somebody in your fucking ear telling you, girl, do this, file for the divorce, then come out and say that you were um, abused, and then you can be a Me Too uh, ambassador, and then you can do this, and then you can be get speaking gigs, and then you can... No. You were listening to somebody who got in your fucking ear and you decided that that was going to be the better way to boost yourself. Look at this face. It's just... Less than human. Let's you are less back than to human. The, the day of the verdict. Were you feeling confident? Huh? <sighs> That's a great question. She's so dramatic. Oh my God. I wish so I answer yes. it to that but you should have known an equal thinking fucking human being's face by the way what is that about what the fuck is that about are you trying to stop yourself from saying some dumb shit but like no you don't given the fact that elaine was goddamn fucking awful she was awful the team did awful rotten born was your only fucking saving grace in that closing okay and so yeah she probably should have fucking known given the public because you know she was online with eve and everything given the public opinion given the crowds out there supporting johnny if the public is saying one thing you should pretty much know that a jury of the public seven people of the public are probably gonna have the same fucking reaction and thoughts hence why you got the verdict that you did so she probably knew that you know, this could go either way. I don't think she went in with full confidence that she was going to win this shit. Like, I know she's crazy and narcissistic and all that, but I really, that would be, that would be really wild if she really thought she was going to win this shit after going through those six weeks and hearing her team give the case that they gave. It was piss poor. That's because she gave them no evidence. But yeah, like, no, I, why would you be confident of that? You did horribly. You know you got up on this stand and did a horrible job. The acting was trash. You did not cry not one time. Not even when you were talking about being R-worded with a bottle. Not even when you were talking about being cavity searched. Yanked up, choked against the wall. Hair pulling down the fucking hallway and all this shit. You shed not one goddamn tear. You should have fucking known. I want to say yes to you, but it would... It would be a lie. It wouldn't be true. Ah! Even if you... <laughs> you saw how she paused. She said it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. <laughs> it would be a fucking lie. She doesn't want to say lie. She doesn't want word the word lie to come out of her mouth. Because lie is too synonymous with Amber Heard. She doesn't want people to make those connections. And if lie comes out of her mouth... People can clip that all fucking together. Mm, 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 mm. And if you think this is the I'm shit, lying, this is the part that I got the sneak peek on. I want to say yes to you, 
but it would it wouldn't be true. Even if you think, even if you think that I'm lying, that I'm lying, you still couldn't tell me, look me in the eye, and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. Bitch, that makes literally no sense. Even if you think that I'm lying, you can't say that the treatment that she's gotten online is fair. That does not make sense. So you're saying that people should just be able to sit up and fucking lie and nobody should have a reaction. That's not fair. Someone like you, Amber, should be able to sit up and lie if from your fucking what you're saying. If we think that you're lying, we should just be okay with that and not say shit. Is that what she's saying right now? And just let it fucking go and let sweep it under rug and move the fuck on? That's what she just said. The entitlement and arrogance of this woman. It's so telling in everything that she fucking says. Even if you think I'm lying, you cannot tell me the situations and stuff that she's got online is fair. That is so fucked. And it's similar to what I've been seeing, this narrative of, oh, Amber was representing abuse. So because she was representing abuse, it's fucked up that anybody has anything to say about it. What? what the fuck so we're supposed to just now let people sit up and fucking lie to the public and in court and not say a goddamn thing who the fuck do you think you are amber like who do you think you are that's wild of you to ask of people that is wild of you to ask of the public to just simply think that you're lying and not give a fuck over something that is this important to the culture, to society, and as, as a whole. This has reset a lot. You know, it's men too. It's no longer me too. Me too is getting a bad fucking rap at this point. Like, you're wallin'. Like, God. This chick needs help. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven yes. all the elements of defamation? Yes, honey. Answer, yes. <laughs> I remember that shit. Trial, they kept the saying yes, yes, and I was dying in a every time. Washington Post op-ed in which she wrote she was a public figure representing domestic abuse. She never mentioned her ex-husband. But by she name. said two years ago. Death denied the abuse bitch. allegations in court. Heard one just one of three claims in her counter. And she sat in court and husband. said that when Camille got her riled the fuck up when she decided to get the fuck back on stand because she could not let Johnny have the last word. You sat up there and you fucking sat there and said you wrote the goddamn op-ed about him did it to yourself like you could this bitch that verdict Sexy. came less than two years after Sexy a judge ruled against step in a similar case in the uk in which that is he a smooth a man newspaper that she's such a, a copycat there was another trial handled it in, with the same dealt with the same substantive issues no they did not no they did not in fact, She's sitting there fucking lying again, Johnny. Okay, she's sitting here saying that there was another trial that dealt with the same subsidies or whatever the fuck she said, the same things. Johnny did not get to fucking speak in the trial. What are you talking about? Savannah is like, what the hell are you saying? She could not have left this interview thinking like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, the public is now going to be on my side. Like, what is the point of this? What is the actual fucking point? In fact, mine, my evidence was largely kept out. Really important ah! pieces of evidence. Amber, stop it. Stop it! Both of y'all had evidence that was left out. I heard Josh Rickman say if the shit that they had, the witnesses that they had, the shit that they had that was not let in would have destroyed you even more. You want to talk about, we don't want to see any more of your fucking fake edited goddamn fucking photos. We've seen your shit. You had nothing. All your evidence that you provided was debunked one by one by one to the point where you literally had nothing. Not even the testimony of your sister. You had not medical records. You had not pictures. You had not financial, um, whatever the fuck, analysis. You had not social media analysis. You had not mental analysis. You had 
Nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Piece of evidence kept out. Bitch, so did Johnny. Done differently, handled differently. Yeah, in by another country, a, a judge by another jury, judge. Some evidence is admissible in a UK court that is not admissible in a US court. Do you think that maybe he just had better lawyers? I will say his his Ah that's a dig. Do you think he just had better lawyers? <laughs> well, yeah, I think that she did. Well he did. Although I'm gonna throw Rotten Born a, bur a bone because he really his closing was tight. His closing was tight. I think that he's a good lawyer. Elaine is not, and that's who I think she's talking about. Because goddamn, Elaine was fucking horrible. She was horrible, and I think that she largely lost this case for her because the jury was like, "You don't even know what the fuck you're doing and or saying. You don't even know why the fuck you're here." <laughs> like, no. His lawyers did a, certainly a better job yes, of distracting they did. the jury from the real issues. Distracting the jury from the real issues? What? They just were frankly disgusted by the whole thing. Yes, they I am disgusted. For either one of you. Can you understand that? I definitely don't have sympathy for you. I don't Absolutely. have sympathy. I would not blame the other person thing. for looking at this and how it's. What does she mean? Person. Like, I'm feeling a little bit. What does she mean by the average person? Like a person who's not a movie star? Like a person who's not in the industry? Like someone who, like, we can't possibly understand the inner workings of your relationship because we're just average people? Like, no. No. Like, even people, peers of yours, have flipped over, unfollowed you, started following Johnny. Hella people liked his post and stuff like that. It's not about the average person. It's about the peers you have around you as well. The peers that you'll never have around you ever again. Because you can't work in this industry because you fucked your life up. Keep fucking insulting people. Keep on fucking offending people, Amber. Keep on fucking doing that shit. Like... You're not going to get anywhere. You're not. By calling people average, by call, calling the jury like they could not follow the rules and shit. No, that's y'all. Y'all don't know how to follow the fucking rules. You had a whole person kick the fuck out the courtroom for not following the fucking rules. Not the jury. That's you. Stop projecting. And not think that it is... Hollywood brats at their at their worst. I you are a brat. But what people don't understand is it's what it's what don't we understand? So much bigger than that. It is. This is. Uh, it's huge. It's massive. This is everywhere. It's everywhere because you are literally fucking with people's lives and experiences that they have had and gone through on the daily terrible situations and you're trying to make it belittling it and offending people by sitting up here and lying and acting like that's something that happened to you. You dumb bitch. This is not only about our first amendment right to speak. But it's not about your first amendment right to speak. It's never been that fucking issue, Amber. No one said you can't fucking talk. You been goddamn talking for six goddamn, like, years. Plus more. But you're not allowed to sit there and boldface fucking lie to the public about somebody when you know it's not fucking true. And that's why the courts said you had malicious intent. Because you knew you were fucking lying. It was malicious. Malice. In the palace, bitch. But here's the thing about the First Amendment. The First Amendment Thank protects you. free speech. Right. It doesn't protect lies that amount Thank to Thank you. And that was the issue in the Thank case. you, yes, you exactly. fucking liar. You can't go... Th okay. Oh, thank you. Like, that is what I want to hear. The First Amendment does not protect lies of defamation. Like, what aren't you understanding? It was proven that what you were saying was not truthful. Like, uh, oh my god. Let me turn some light on. Okay, let's continue to listen to the lies in the case study of the mentally insane Amber Heard. Go into, the free speech does not protect you if you- If you, you lie, which you did. Go into the theater and you scream fire. We get the concept of free speech from what? the Greeks. My understanding of what... 
So now she thinks she's about to teach us fucking philosophy and Greek history and shit. This is how pretentious and arrogant this woman is. We got free speech from the Greeks. Okay, that's wonderful. That's great. Thank you, Socrates, Plato, or whatever. But no, this is not. This is not the hill you're going to die on, Amber. You're not speaking freely. You're lying. <laughs> you're fucking lying. You're flat out fucking lying. And that's the issue. And the sooner you fucking realize that, and the sooner you shut your fucking mouth, things will be a little bit better for you. But you can't do that because you're not right up here. You need to seek help, honey. You need to seek help. I saw a picture today on Twitter. And Amber, someone had it photoshopped. (laughs) I was going to put it like on the thumbnail of this video but I was like that's just doing too much but the <laughs> the picture was of Amber photoshopped into a straight jacket and I was like the bitch needs it like she really does she needs to be taken somewhere in padded cells cause she's not well she needs to be medicated but I was like god damn bitch between the tweet of her being grouped with Bill Cosby Prince Andrew and I forget the one other person god damn it and then the picture of you being photoshopped into a straight jacket you're never coming back for this you're never coming back from this you have ruined your fucking life and you have a daughter you have a child who's gonna have to come up behind you and it's gonna have to be known as amber heard being her mother and people are fucking calling her mommy dearest which I really do feel like she would do because now she's fucked up her acting career and her movie star career and shit and then she's gonna try to live vicariously through her fucking daughter and we're gonna have a mommy dearest situation <laughs> because she has to try to live out her dreams through o- Onika o- o- Onya I don't know how to say her name I know it starts with O oh, I really fear for that child I do Like, I would rather, I would almost rather Elon have the kid. Like, can you imagine? Let's hope the nanny has her most of the time because, ooh. Means is not just the freedom to speak. Amber. It's a freedom to speak truth to power. Amber. That makes no fucking sense. truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And that's all I spoke. You did not! Spoke but truth was the word. The that was the issue. No. No, 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 no. 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 This woman is never going to get it. This woman is never going to seek help. This woman is going to go to her grave saying that Johnny beat and abused her. She believes it. She believes in her warped, fucked up mind that she was abused by Johnny Depp. And it's sad that he's constantly going to have this thing in the fucking shadows, fucking trying to come after him with ill will and ill intentions, you know? That's scary because this woman, (laughs) this woman right here, she has it out for him. He is living his life, moving on doing all the things she was doing and now she has had that taken away from her by no other person but her goddamn self and she needs somebody to blame it on and she's going to blame it on johnny till her dying fucking day in the closing arguments the dep lawyer said hey johnny the performance of a lifetime jesus and said you were (laughs) acting you were acting bitch performance of a lifetime it surely was i could not The other day I was watching clips of Amber Heard doing her testimony and I was like, I really can't believe she did that. Like, I kept saying, like, before everything, I did not think she was going to get up on the stand. I thought she was going to come up with some excuse, maybe get COVID or some fucking shit. I'm like, I was looking back at these clips and I was like, she really did that shit. She really got up in court and fucking lied her ass off to the world and thought we were going to believe it. The audacity. The audacity. 
for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. What? She couldn't even get that Says out of her mouth. The Hold lawyer up. said she couldn't even get that out of her mouth. She knew it sounded so fucking dumb. And said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. She was so confident in saying, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Anybody with the rational, th everybody knows that's a fucking character, Amber. You're the only one that thinks that's real. Since you keep referring to him as these characters from movies, you clearly are the only one who sees that like sees him as these people or these characters he's played 24 fucking 7 what he convinced the world that he has scissors for hands you set up with your PR guy and Eve and whatever whoever the hell else is in your fucking team and y'all sat there and really thought that was the fucking line to say in your interview she literally could not get it out that's how dumb she knows she sounded. Listen to this again. She's struggling. She knows it sounds stupid. The performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. For fingers? What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. Amber, shut up. Just shut the, performer? the hell up. I had up. listened to weeks yes, of the performer. And your goddamn acting teacher said you had issues with fake crying. <laughs> you couldn't fucking do it. You couldn't even do it on the stand. She fucking told on your ass right then and there. She couldn't fight, fake fucking cry. Like, and I'm the performer? Because Johnny played a role umpteen years ago as Edward Scissorhands. How dare people call you a performer because you sat up there and lied and gave the performance of your life. She's warped. There's no sense of making sense of this woman. You, all you can do is fucking watch like a fucking car wreck. You can't help but fucking look away because you're like, what the fuck is going on here? What is going on? Of testimony uh, insinuating that or saying quite directly that, you know, I'm a terrible actress. You are. So, I, I, Because I'm, you I, gave the... You tried to give the performance of your life. You thought you were doing some fucking shit, but it didn't translate. It was awful. And people could tell that you were acting and or overacting. Johnny said that in his fucking testimony when he was talking to the director of the Rum Diaries. Your issue is you don't know how to be still. You do too much. You overemphasize every fucking thing. That's all you were doing in your testimony, so nobody believed it. You do it in your acting. Like, I'm a bit confused how I could be both. The deaf team. Girl, shut the hell up. Shut up. You're a bit confused. I'm a bit confused how you've done all of this. I'm a bit confused why you are here on this screen right now giving this interview it makes no sense we're all confused amber so like please make it make sense to us but it seems as if you have no capability in doing so team argued that you were the abuser you are that you instigated you are violence. look at her blinking Did blinking you? i never had to instigate it i responded to it girl bye i heard it on the audio violence and it becomes shut the hell up i heard you say that she was hitting normal, him as i testified to stop it you have to adapt you say you were responding but there are, is evidence thank you there are tapes exactly you okay girl there exactly are tapes in which you say i started the fight yes i know much has been made of of these audio tapes they were sit here and fucking belittle the audio tapes now i know much has been made of these audio tapes yeah because it was you on tape admitting to hitting johnny multiple times and acting like a crazy person do you guys remember that laughter 
like when she was supposed to come there and pick up her shit and fucking leave and she came back to fucking harass Johnny when he was playing like his guitar and she, that audio where she was laughing like a complete demon yeah we heard all of that we heard that shit and you're gonna sit here and believe like be literally like much has been you know said about these audios like like it's nothing but if it was audio doing that it would be everything it would be like the audios the audios the audios if it was johnny if you ever would have actually caught him doing some shit just like you do with the tmz video please it's all good for amber but johnny can't ever do anything first leaked online after being uh, edited what please you amber I, heard, not I sat through hours of this audio of you sounding like a complete and utter maniac hours hours if there was any more to that i'm likely that we probably would have heard you be even worse we would have heard some even more abuse in crazy laughter, in vulgar language, in name calling, and just flat out nastiness and cruelness from you. Like, they didn't even play all that they could have fucking played that's actually out there. Like, you got light work. Not evidence of what was happening, it was evidence of a negotiation. What? How to talk about that with your abuser but i am looking at a transcript that thank says, you he says you start physical fights and right. you say i did start a physical fight right. i can't promise you i won't get physical exactly again. i, I just fucking lose it in black and white, black and white. out your mouth that you're testifying and you're just telling me today i never started a physical thank fight, you and here you are on tape saying you did as right. i testified on the stand about this is that when your life is at risk not only will you take the blame for things that you shouldn't take the blame oh, for. Oh, her life was at risk. She just took the blame for it. I <laughs> they sat up in their PR fucking meeting and was like, yeah, just say that you took the blame for it because you were scared for your life. That'll do it. That'll explain it. What? Like, and look at her face. I can't. In an abusive dynamic, psychologically, emotionally, and physically. You did all of that, you don't to have the resources that say you or I do with the luxury. Savannah is looking hey, at her like I see right, right through all this shit. But when you're living, I would be like, I need security. I need like a therapy dog because I'm about to go talk to somebody who is completely unwell and deranged, and I need some protection. <laughs> That would be all in my contract along with a hefty payday to sit up and talk with this woman. Because what? What? Living in it. But then there are other times, there's another tape where you're taunting exactly, him. Exactly, taunting oh, him. tell the world, Johnny Mocking Depp, him, yep. I, a man, the victim of domestic yeah. violence. <laughs> 20 second clips or their transcripts of honey don't talk about 20 second fucking clips do goddamn fucking audio every goddamn fucking text was always clipped every audio clipped 15 10 seconds you gave nothing in context none of your fucking evidence was in context don't sit up here and tell me about some context <laughs> she is so offensive and she like She's so arrogant. She thinks that she's the smartest person in the room. She has an answer back for everything. And thinks that it's valid and makes sense. And, and that it's like appropriate. And that people are just going to be like, huh, okay. That makes sense. No! <laughs> like, no. Some of them are not representative of even the two hours or the three hours that those clips are excerpt from. Could your side have just put the whole three hours in then? Right. I'm not a lawyer. As I testified I'm not to, a I was lawyer. talking in those recordings as a person yeah. with extreme amount of emotion. You were talking as a person in extreme amount of emotion and you fucking lost it and you hit Johnny and he confronted you about it and you admitted to it on audio. Just like you were talking to Camille and you were on the fucking stand and you were under extreme fucking emotion and you admitted you wrote the op-ed about Johnny. You don't know how to control yourself. You lack self-control. And you need to get help for that. 
You don't even know what the fuck that you're saying. You get so upset and wound up that you got damn telling yourself. Look at this face. Emotional, psychological, and physical distress. He and says doesn't he never Thank you, cut her off. You. Never, never hit you. Never, lie. ever. Yes, so Johnny's just bold face fucking lying. Said they have seen you right. instigate physical violence. Right. I've so they're seen lying too. And how people will file rank and support the person they depend on. Did they all come in? I have seen how Eve Barlow filed rank and will believe the person they depend on. Okay, exactly. It's the same fucking thing. Like, you... What about Whitney? What about Raquel? What about Io? They're all filing in rank because they're benefiting off of your bitch ass. And now the gravy chain has stopped. Come in and lie in court. Right. I am not here to call any of his witnesses... But you've already Any done names. that. You've I'm called the jury, fucked up. Talk you talked about the jury. What it felt like for me as you talked about the witnesses. Sat there. You called the randos. Lawyers, Why do you think you won? And the answer I got was because she never took responsibility for anything she did. In the literally nothing. Amber took responsibility for not one thing. She did not even want to admit that she did. Im- um, that she was an avid drug user herself. She didn't want to admit that she was an avid alcoholic and drink her goddamn self. She wanted to act as if she was a perfect victim. Like she did absolutely nothing wrong and Johnny just beat her ass for no fucking reason because he's this crazy fucking monster. And that's just simply not true. Everybody does shit in life. Everybody fucks up. Everybody has their problems. So it is really crazy when you hear somebody getting up on the stand, sitting there saying, act like they ain't did a goddamn fucking thing. When you can see in evidence that they did. You didn't even give yourself a little bit of a fucking bone. You you literally painted yourself into this corner. Like... The marriage... I did do and say horrible. Yes, you did. Regrettable things. Yes, you did. You cheated. Life. You brought Elon Musk, Carla Delevingne, uh, James Franco, all up in your husband's penthouse doing drugs and having threesomes and canoodling in elevators and shit. Like, yeah, you did a lot of shit. And that's just what we saw. We know that there's probably a hell of a lot more so much more that Johnny has not even let out about your crazy ass because he's that good of a person and he respects like y'all's relationship and you guys had a marriage and there's just some things that just need to stay there (laughs) you know like I'm sure we haven't heard all of it I am sure of it relationship uh, I behaved in horrible yes. almost unrecognizable to myself ways please so much, I have so much regret please you've been acting this way for fucking years almost unrecognizable to yourself you beat Tasia you were abusive to the um, boyfriend you had who was on the telenovelas you beat Whitney you beat Johnny you were horrible to your mom this is what you do. You were horrible to your assistants and people who are working around you that you felt like were, you know, lower than you. This is who you are. Don't talk about this is unrecognizable to you. You've been doing and being this way for years. You were sitting there driving without a fucking license. And why was your license suspended, Amber? You're not a good person. Period. And the more you get up and talk, the more we see it, that you are unwell. Gret, I freely and openly and voluntarily. Look at Savannah. Did. <laughs> I did you see that eyebrow pull? Open Hold up. Ways. There's so did much, I just I see that or no? So much regret. I freely and openly and voluntarily. <laughs> No, you did not. Horrible language. I talked about being pushed to the extent. No, you didn't. I didn't even know the difference between, you know, um, hitting or punching. You didn't even know the difference between hitting or punching. Is that what you didn't know the difference about? Like, stop it. Right and wrong. I. You were wrong. Always continue to feel like I was a part of this like I was the other half of this relationship because I was and it was 
she's still in love with Johnny. If Johnny hit her up today, in secrecy and privacy, she would take that fucking phone call. And a heartbeat. She's still in love with him. Or still wants some part of him. She knows she lost out on a great fucking thing. She knows that. And she's going to have to live with that for the rest of her fucking life. And she's going to burn her to the depths to see him move on and succeed and thrive. And that is going to be her punishment. To watch Johnny live his life freely without her and succeed. That is your punishment. The money is nothing to Johnny. He has that, can make more of it. He's set. But you, honey? <laughs> it was ugly and could be very beautiful. What? It was very, very toxic. You are we toxic. We were awful to each other. You know, I made a lot of... I don't think it started that way. A lot of mistakes. Yeah, you did. A lot of mistakes. Now you want to act like you say you've made truth. a lot of... No, you haven't. You're goddamn her lying. Her say they plan to appeal that verdict and wow. ask for the notion from her... Amber Heard and her interview. It was completely pointless and a waste of her time and a waste of a jet and a waste of fucking fuels in the goddamn atmosphere burning our ozone layer so thank you for that but like what does she think this did for her like does she think suddenly oh my god the world's gonna be now like oh my god i feel so bad for amber i understand now and we got two more of these we got another one tomorrow and then an hour one on friday what more is there to be said? That's what I'm wondering. What more could be said? What more do you need to say, Amber? Are you going to release all this evidence that you're saying that you have that could have somehow vindicated you and had a different outcome in this situation? What more could you possibly have to say? It's not going to matter. Because this has just made you seem even worse. It's just made you seem desperate. It's made you seem like a stalker. It's made you seem like you're never going to move the fuck on, which is what you claimed you wanted. You just wanted Johnny to leave you alone. Yet here you are. And Johnny's left you alone. He's in another freaking country living his life, not giving a fuck about an Amber Heard. Done. Done with your ass. And you're here talking about him. And keep on lying. About to be in another court case. Because you're still running your fucking mouth. They really need to get a cease and desist restraining order on her and Eve Barlow. For Johnny. Because I'm concerned. I think them two, they, they are up to no fucking good. Like, I cannot. I cannot. I feel like this was an utter waste of her fucking time. And just made her look even more crazy in the public and has made Dr. Curry's you know diagnosis that more irrelevant and accurate you know like what the fuck Amber she really thought she did some shit I don't fucking get it let me find that tweet People with this disorder have to be the center of attention at all times. They don't care if that attention is positive or negative. People with this disorder often place blame on others without seeing any fault themselves. That is what Amber's done this entire time. She's like, she can't take responsibility. We just saw at the end of her trying to act like, oh, I've made mistakes, I've made mistakes, but where was all that fucking energy when you were up on the fucking stand? You tried to act like you did nothing. Even Pierce Morgan is responding saying, God, she's so full of crap. If Depp had lost the case, would he be given big media platforms like this to carry on lying, accusing, and playing the victim? No, he would not. He would literally have to go into fucking hiding somewhere. 
he would not be able nobody's gonna throw him a fucking interview and like softball questions at him no absolutely not appears that's exactly that's exactly it that's factual actual Ugh. Mm, 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 mm. that umbrella guy said watching amber heard in prime time interview on today's show is like chris brown getting microphone after he assaulted rihanna no one would ever allow this if the victim were not johnny depp a man and that's so true could you fucking imagine i remember rihanna's interview was it with Barbara walters and she was like wearing the white and she kind of had like the um shortcut and the blonde this way i remember that when that came out you would not be like oh this is the tweet this is the tweet it was her jesse smollett prince andrew and bill cosby look at this same vibes you are being grouped with these people girl it's a fucking wrap oh my god you're never gonna work again oh my god make your mommy blog now because you're never gonna work again in this industry it's a fucking wrap God, this was so pointless, but I had to watch it. I had to see. And of course, I'm going to watch the others because why the fuck not? Think about liking, think about subscribing, and I'll see you guys in another video. Ta-ta!